Thanks, Kasha. A truly sad story there. And as we head through the overnight hours, it's going to be frigid yet again. So look out for each other out there. Of course, the cold, not the only story in Ontario dealing with snow squalls yet again north of the city. And that's where we join Kevin Yard. 23. So again, watch out for those that may be vulnerable to the cold. Looking ahead at your weekend, we do have snow on the way to the northeastern shores of Superior, looking at that 5 to 10 centimeter mark. As for the GTA, I mean, you're going to have a great start to your Saturday. Any activities outdoors, enjoy them then, because as we head through later in the day, we could tap into some mixing. Overall, snowfall amounts aren't going to be significant, but as we head to the evening, it's Ottawa that could be picking up that 10 centimeter mark, so quite a bit heavier as we look to the east. Today, though, the big threat is going to be the lake effect snow squalls. As Kevin was mentioning, we could pick up a couple of centimeters in through London, Collingwood as those squalls come down. And then looking ahead, well, we have a big system making its way out toward Atlantic Canada. But overall for us, it's the temperature swing going up and then going right back down as we head into the latter half of your weekend into the start of next work week. Thanks so much for that, Kim. Well, all those wintry scenes and around the world may have you thinking warmer thoughts, perhaps traveling through the summer. We join Kasia Bajerka at the RV Show. There you go, Kasha. Take one of those RVs and meet me in the parking lot. Sounds like a good deal. We'll travel south because this is what's happening for our Saturday. Along the eastern shores of Superior, 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. Heavier show snow for eastern Ontario as we head later through your day into the overnight tomorrow. And then for the GTA, you're going to have a nice start to your Saturday. We could get into some mixing in the afternoon and overall less than 2 centimeters. Looking at today, the biggest threat is going to be the lake effect machine along the Georgian Bay. And here on shore, as you may pick up a couple of centimeters there. And if you tuned in over the summer, I actually tried that wakeboarding course that they have uh, in Hamilton, and it was a ton of fun. Unfortunately, not quite the season for it yet. It is the season of snow squalls, and that's where we join Kevin Yard in the north of the city cold. We're going to be on a bit of a temperature roller coaster through the weekend, going up and then back down and then up and down. Uh, we're also looking through Saturday at snowfall. So east of Superior, heavier amounts at 5 to 10 centimeters. Eastern Ontario tapping in some heavier snow as you head late day tomorrow. For the GTA, starting your weekend off nice and clear. So if you have any errands to do, do them Saturday through the early parts of the day because then we could tap into some mixing and then that two centimeters as we continue into Saturday evening. Overall today, the threat is lake effect snow along the shores of Huron, as well as Georgian Bay. And that threat of snow is going to push down into areas like London, Collingwood. So just be aware if you are traveling. But as Kevin mentioned, not heavy amounts. As we head through the weekend, though, again, watching for that snow, tracking through on your Saturday could make things a bit messy. It seems as though the deep freezer has been pointed on Ontario since the start of the new year. I'm Chrissy Van, in for Cheryl Pluff. We're looking at our seventh extreme cold alert for the city of Toronto this year. And of course, to the north, we've been dealing with extreme cold warnings. So we'll talk the cold coming up, but the squalls is well an issue. And that's where we join Kevin Yard, north of the city. Thanks for that, Kevin. Of course, with all the cold and the snow, I'm sure it has many of you dreaming of that sunshine, perhaps warmer temperatures as well. To feed your wanderlust, we join Kasia Badurka at the RV Show. Thanks, Kasia. Well, I'm sure many will want to hop in the RV and escape to warmer conditions. We do have, as I say, that extreme cold alert. Sadly, we have seen these cold conditions being fatal for some already this year. Talking snow. Well, through Saturday, eastern shores of Superior could pick up 5 to 10 centimeters. Late day Ottawa, you're going to see that snow really pick up. For southern Ontario, your Saturday, good for the first half. Then we may see some mixing and about 2 centimeters falling throughout the day. So not going to be significant, but could could make for some slick travels. Then we joined Kevin earlier talking about squalls. That's what we're watching through the day today. So along the shores of Huron, Georgian Bay, we do have the potential of that snow squall activity. They could shift down to areas like London, Collingwood, and of course we could see some higher snowfall amounts in through Perry Sound. You could be headed for a winter cottage getaway, so bear that in mind. Looking ahead at our temperatures, well, they're going to be on a little bit of a roller coaster. So we're going to find temps rising through your Saturday, then falling through your Sunday, and uh, uh, unfortunately, looking at that seven day, well, by your Monday, minus six, feeling like minus 12. So back to those negative double digit wind chills and we'll be staying cool as we travel throughout the week. Truly devastating there. I know everyone's still working hard to rebuild for that. 
Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Pluff. We're going to be talking the extreme cold. City of Toronto has issued its seventh extreme cold alert of 2015, but snow squalls have been a factor north of the city of as well as uh, through Collingwood. But overall, it's not going to be a big event. Heading into Saturday, though, a little bit messy along the eastern shores of Superior, picking up five to ten centimeters. Late day Ottawa could be picking up through the overnight ten centimeters. Your day in southern Ontario. Enjoy the first half of the day because we could tap into some mixing as we head through the afternoon and generally less than two centimeters, but even a little bit can make travel messy. But as I mentioned, for your day today, we're watching those squalls fire up through the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. So do be cautious if you are traveling up north for a cottage weekend away. Cheryl Pluff, Chrissy Van with you with your it feels a little bit like that because <laughs> of this extreme cold we're dealing with. Look at all of the warnings in place and it's all winter weather. Although we have in some cases along the coast of Nova Scotia, see the look aheads for the next few days for select locations, Montreal, Look at this, minus 16, and then following up on Sunday with a two degree reading, so the temperatures will warm, but it's gonna take a couple of days. Uh, we do actually have really cold temperatures on the way, and this low pressure system, so we had the warm front. In fact, the warm front was really more active weather-wise than the cold front. The cold front brings down the temperatures so significantly uh, that it will be essentially a roller coaster ride of temperatures. The temperatures drop, and then the new low comes in by later in the weekend, and then the temps go back up again. Yes, and I mean, adding to that temperature story, you're going to be dealing with snow uh, in through parts of southern Nova Scotia, more of a rain event for you, but definitely a wintry mix along the way. In Newfoundland, generally 5 to 10 centimeters of 10 kilometer race out there. I know as well the Lake Louise Ice Magic Festival just kicked off today. There's lots of great things to do there, and uh, Lake Louise getting some snowfall. In fact, not only the Rockies, but in the coastal range of BC getting some precipitation too. Quick mention though for the prairies because we do have cold temperatures still in Manitoba. We've seen that moderation across Saskatchewan and Alberta, warm front co coming through, but a cold front brings some snowfall. And most regions will be seeing less than five centimeters of snow, with the exception of way up to the north through southern parts of the province. A little bit of wet snow today. And of course, we're seeing snow in Ontario as well. Uh, the lake effect machine picking up today along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. And then more snow on the way for the GTA. It's only going to be less than two centimeters. And I know as we gear down through the latter half of the day, Cheryl, that's where things pick up. So people should take advantage of the weekend early Saturday. Aha, notice this, milder. Saturday is such an interesting day across southern Ontario because it will start cold, then we warm up. In fact, our daytime high will likely be reached later in the day, maybe even through the evening. And then still some unsettled weather here for Sunday across western Canada. Tomorrow, rainfall in Vancouver, over 30 millimeters expected. Well, there you go. And you can catch more features at theweathernetwork.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Pluff. We're going to start things off in Ontario before we head west. And you'll see we have this snow squall activity. So areas like Collingwood right down into London being impacted because we have seen them ramp up along the Georgian Bay and Huron shorelines. In that squall activity, we send it out to Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. We won't be retiring those shovels anytime soon, especially if you're on the shores of Superior, 5 to 10 centimeters through your Saturday. As for the GTA, you can see less than two. You could get into some mixing in the afternoon. And then we are looking at some heavier snowfall areas like Ottawa, you could be in that five to 10 centimeter range. The cold, a big story. I mean, the city of Toronto has issued its seventh extreme cold alert of the year. We've had extreme cold warnings to the north as well earlier today. So we're going to be on a bit of a roller coaster in Atlantic Canada, as well a temperature roller coaster and a new system on the way. That's exactly it, Nathan. Thank you for that. We have this low tracking from west to east, another one coming out of the south. They merge, and that's what's bringing the wintry mix. So late Sunday night, that's when western New Brunswick, southern Nova Scotia taps into it, and then it will continue pushing east. So Newfoundland, this becomes a Tuesday story for you. As for BC, you're looking at high elevation snow just in time for the weekend. The BC coast continues to see that rain on and off throughout the weekend, quite heavy at times around Vancouver, looking at 60 millimeters all said and done. And then we we are looking at a little bit of snow moving through the prairies, Winnipeg picking up about one to three centimeters. And it's so amazing for all the skiers out there to get out on the slopes. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Pluff. Looking back at our temperatures yesterday where we had this warm up in the west with Vancouver at nine, Calgary well above seasonal nine degrees where you should be sitting at minus three. Toronto was right around seasonal and really it was seasonal for most of the eastern portion of the country. That's all changing though. I mean, yes, we're still seeing that warm up to the west, but we have some extreme
extreme cold warnings that were issued for northern Ontario earlier today. Heading into the east, we have negative double-digit temperatures for the highs of the day. Not too pleasant. Overall, that Arctic air mass settling in. Quebec, I know you have quite a few extreme cold warnings as well in place for areas like central Quebec. How long will that cold last for you? Well, those details coming up in the Long Ranger with Dr. Doug and Cheryl. From around the world to Chrissy Van and Cheryl Pluff with you with plenty of rain on the way. Certainly a lot of cloud cover, maybe a few breaks of sunshine. Tomorrow, Saturday and through Sunday, total 60 plus millimeters of rain headed toward you if you're in Vancouver. So we've got some snow in the mountains too. Everything eases off through this evening, through the overnight, but then we have our next low pressure system that's on deck and moving into the BC coast tomorrow, so the rain will return. But BC interior, seeing a good dose of uh, snowfall, mountain passes. Uh, if you're in the interior, we're looking at five to 10 centimeters of snow and some really nice, well, this is perfect timing, isn't it, for the weekend? Fresh Absolutely, powder. and I mean, the good thing as well, the avalanche risk at this time just at a considerable risk, so still something you need to be aware of, but at least we're not seeing those really high danger ratings. True enough. Across the eastern prairies, the cold is still in place, no question. Although we have seen that nice moderation in Alberta and Saskatchewan, we're not able to break free from that just yet in Winnipeg. Uh, cold enough still for a, quite a bit of snowfall, two to five centimeters, and then higher totals further north. But notice how that extends off into northern Ontario, where the cold also remains in place. Uh, it's always the way. So for Ontario, we're going to be dealing with this temperature roller coaster. So as we head through the day tomorrow, temperatures falling, then rising, then falling yet again. So whenever you get those warm spells, take advantage because they're going to be very short in regards to lasting lifetime. We need to watch for tomorrow. We could get into a little bit of mixing late day, picking up a couple of centimeters. So if you do have outdoor plans, I know the Niagara on the Lake Ice Wine Fest taking place, do it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, the temperatures are so interesting, and you mentioned it, roller coaster ride. The temperatures are going to be plummeting tonight. We're talking dangerous cold in Quebec as well as Ontario and even for the Maritimes, and then everything surges up, and then we drop back down next week. You know, that's that little icon that's swirling around, and then Nova Scotia mainland, two to five centimeters of snow, but things get interesting into next week. Yes, we're going to be dealing with a series of lows. We have this low pushing in from west to east, and then another one merging in into a Atlantic Canada. Tune in for your local forecast, that breakdown coming up on the 10s. Thanks for that, Mike and Mark, and a safe adventure to you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van and for Cheryl Pluff. And as you can see, these are our ice cover totals thus far superior at 17.1% compared to Lake Erie. Like Mark was mentioning, it's shallower, so it's already 85% covered. So the thing is, we still have lake effect snow squalls along the shores of Huron, Georgian Bay today. And then we do have the potential on the eastern shores of Superior picking up 5 to 10 centimeters through your Saturday. A general 2 to 5 to the north. And then Ottawa, you could be picking up 5 to 10 centimeters late day tomorrow. That will be ramping up for the GTA as a whole. We're looking at a little bit of mixing in the afternoon. So the beginning of your day looking to be the driest. The prairies seeing a bit of a disturbance as well. So snow moving through Winnipeg. You're looking at just picking up one to three centimeters. The heaviest snow sticking in. I mean, winter is a fact of life. At least we get to have a little bit of fun with it. So be sure to check out the festival if you have the chance. Looking at this afternoon, Lake Louise, you are in for some snowfall. But what we're really watching here is the freezing precipitation threat. So through Red Deer heading down to the east we are looking at that potential it's not going to be a lot of freezing rain or ice pellet activity but we know it doesn't take much to make things messy out on the roads things are messy if you're traveling in through bc we have plenty of moisture heading along the coast i mean today is actually your break day before more rain significant rain moves in on saturday and then we are seeing snow move through the higher elevation so whistler picking up five to ten centimeters just in time for the weekend so that's good news for those of you that like to hit the slope but as I say, along the coast, we are looking at that heavier rainfall. Again, we are looking at a system making its way for you late Sunday. So keep it here for the forecast details. Overall as well, we are seeing some significantly cold conditions making its way to the eastern portions of the country. We'll break down those details in your local forecast. 
Thanks so much for that, Deb. And of course, Deb checked out in Lake Louise some of the ice sculptures there. The Ice Magic Festival just kicked off. Now, for Lake Louise, you are looking at a little bit of snow today, but what we're watching, some mixing in Calgary, south of Calgary as well into that wet snow mixing potential. In Edmonton earlier today, we were looking at freezing rain east of Edmonton. We do have that threat of a bit of freezing rain ice pellet, so just be cautious for your travels. Looking at BC, well, today is your break day along the coast because we have some heavy rainfall on the way. And then we are looking at snow through the higher elevations. This snow, of course, right on time for the weekend. Some fresh powder for you in areas like Whistler, 5 to 10 centimeters. But again, it's going to be very soggy along the coast. So just bear that in mind. Looking this afternoon at temperatures, well, things still pretty pleasant and above seasonal in Alberta. 5 degrees in Lethbridge, 2 degrees in Regina. We'll take that. Winnipeg, you're still on that cold side, minus 11 degrees. So not getting into that warmer air. What you are getting into, though, is a little bit of snowfall. So we have a disturbance moving through by Saturday night. I mean, Winnipeg, you're just looking at one to three centimeters. It's not going to be a great impact, but could slick up the roads. And then to the north, that's where we are looking at that five to 10 centimeter mark. Not the only place seeing the snow, though. We do have an Ontario eastern shores of Lake Superior, 5 to 10 centimeters on tap through Saturday. If you're in southern Ontario, this less than 2 centimeters, you're going to see that situation pick up through the afternoon on Saturday, really just getting into some mixing because milder air actually moving in. And then Ottawa, you're looking at picking up 5 to 10 centimeters of snow, that ramping up toward the overnight hours. The big thing we're watching here right now at the Weather Network is this the merge of two systems low moving from west to east another from the south to the north those merge and it's going to make things very messy for Atlantic Canada as we head through the latter half of the weekend Sunday overnight into Monday so keep it here we'll have the latest details on that in your local forecast